Welcome to Passages from the Heart. In today's episode, I'm making the final push to get Sunny ready for the sailing season. I'm also going to take you with me up to Door County, Wisconsin, where I do some adventuring. I'm back and I'm here to finish up the last pieces of teak on SV Sunflower, AKA Sunny. Here's what I have so far. I just used the two inch painter's tape to tape off the piece of teak that's along the companionway sliding hatch here on the port side. And we're gonna get started with that first. And I've got my 80 grit that I will put on my block and get ready to have at it. Okay, so this is a little awkward to get myself situated into a position to do this effectively, but this is what I'm going to try. I am sitting up here near the bow of the boat and sort of straddling things here. So let's give it a go. All right, let's see what I have so far after 80 grit. Looking pretty good. There's the other side and the side that I've got 80 grit done on. Now it is time for 100 grit. After I used the 100 grit, I then worked with 120 grit just to get a bit smoother finish on the teak. This is my favorite part. There we go. There we go, we got the port side done and still need to do this other piece. If you remember, I had some issues trying to reach the very bottom of Sunny's keel to scrub it. This is what we have. So you can see where I scrubbed versus where I couldn't reach. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can reach in there with that little brush that I have. First, I'm gonna wet it down again. It has a pivoting head. Though this brush had a telescoping handle and a pivoting head, it was still a bit tricky trying to get in between the keel and the keel guide on the trailer. All in all though, it was the better tool to use as opposed to the first brush that I used, which was just a standard deck brush. Okay, so I got the starboard side done and I'm gonna head over and do the port side of the keel. And so you can see where the growth is there that I couldn't reach before. I think it looks a lot, lot better. Overall, I'm pretty stoked with how the results turned out. In case you might be interested in picking up one of these brushes, it was just one of those OXO cleaning tools and I found it at my local TJ Maxx. It's the final push. As I was editing this footage, I just saw this critter that just flew past my head. I wonder what that was. One more piece of teak, actually 1.5 pieces of teak that I need to finish up. I'm all set to go with my gear. And here's the final piece of teak I need to work on. Actually, not technically. And then I have where the centerboard pennant is. So I got the starboard side piece of teak done alongside the companionway sliding hatch cover. Looks much better. 80 grit followed by 100 grit followed by 120 grit. Next, it's time to do this piece. Here you can see the results of my efforts over the course of three or four afternoons, I believe. So all the pieces of teak next to the companionway slider and the hatchboards complete, as well as the centerboard pennant block. I recently returned from an awesome trip up to Door County, Wisconsin. I was staying in Sturgeon Bay primarily. However, I did travel both the east and west sides of the Door County Peninsula to visit some of the different towns along the shoreline. It goes without saying that, of course, I had to get out on the water while I was in Door County. We ended up renting a little pontoon boat that was 22 feet long through Door County Boat Rentals, and we took it out for about four hours or so. We started out right at Sturgeon Bay and headed out towards the canal that connects Sturgeon Bay to Lake Michigan which was super cool to see and learn the history of how the canal was built. We then also turned around to head back out the other way towards the Green Bay side of Sturgeon Bay. We weren't able to reach Green Bay itself due to restrictions on the pontoon boat that we were renting. However, we did get pretty far. We made it to Sawyer Harbor, which was the adjacent body of water to Green Bay. 
I hope you'll enjoy checking out some of the video footage that I captured during my travels up to Door County Peninsula.